We're celebrating Easter, and Tom Doc from Noah's Animal Hospitals has joined us with uh, a few words of warning. Huh? Advice. Yes. Well, I feel like Debbie Downer all the time. Hey, it's holidays. Let's <laughs> have fun. Oh, your pets are in danger. You know, yeah. but, but it's, but it's important. To know. It is better to know. Safe more than sorry. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. Right. Right. Okay. okay, let's start by talking about what Patty's got right there. The Easter basket. Yeah. yeah. So there's lots of stuff in there that we're concerned about. Chocolate. Okay. We all know that dogs can't have chocolate, no, okay? No. But it doesn't take a lot. <laughs> no, it's no. about an ounce per 10 pounds, an yeah. ounce of milk chocolate, which is the safest chocolate, if okay. there can be, per 10 pounds of dog. So that uh, ounce and a half right there, that could cause severe problems for a little Yorkie, you know, even like a 15 pound small beagle. Uh -huh. Stewie could probably handle it without a problem. Maybe yeah. a little GI upset. Yeah, but just stay oh, away. He does when he doesn't have a little GI upset. He has a lot. A lot of GI, GI upset. upset. <laughs> well, he has an upset. Milk chocolate bad. is safer than dark chocolate. Is safer than semi-sweet baking chocolate. As you go up with the more dark, bitter chocolates yeah. and darker chocolates, darker it's more worse. and more dangerous. Okay. But also the grass. I found this jelly bean scented Easter grass. Oh. Let's just tempt the dogs and cats. Yeah, <laughs> okay? yeah. And this can cause a um, foreign body in a cat. So a cat eats it, it anchors in one end, and then the intestines or stomach can oh, get no. sawed through. Oh, God. Yeah, and then you've got emergency surgery. So yeah. keep the Easter baskets away. Um, now, w one of the things that she's got, she's got all the props right there, lilies. Because uh, you know, we know about chocolate, right. but that's not really common knowledge, the, the risk that poses to a cat. Right, and it's not just that, you know, oh, they eat a whole plant. Uh -huh. It is every part of the plant. The stem, the leaves, oh, the flowers, the pollen, the water from the vase that the lily's in the can be from the base? toxic to a cat oh. and cause acute kidney failure. And you don't have a lot of time. It's usually 6 to 12 hours when okay. the symptoms start showing. Uh -huh. If it goes more than 18 hours without veterinary treatment, right. the risk, or the prognosis goes way down. And the other thing that cats do is they hide when they're sick. They do they hide don't, when they're They sick. don't tell you like he'd say, you know, I don't feel good. Uh, he'd say it just like that. But the cats will go away. That's a big problem for them. They, don't, they don't let you know. So no lilies. If it's got Lily in no the name, just stay away from it. Okay. Right. And, and in general, what else do we need to be concerned about this, this weekend? Um, I think a lot of people, traditional dinner is ham. Uh -huh. Ham is very fatty. Let's not give a big, huge hunk of ham to our dogs and cause okay. pancreatitis. Um, the other thing, too, I think a lot of people do this and then they forget. Uh -huh. Baby bunnies, baby <gasps> chicks, bunnies. baby ducks. Okay, it, it's great that you've got like a little bunny right there, yeah. but these guys have eight, 10, 12 year lifespans. Right. Yeah. Ducks can live 20 years. And also, I had a pet bunny. A bu bun Bun was his name. Uh -huh. I wasn't good at names back then. So <laughs> bun bun. Uh, 10 years. Had him for 10 years. Yeah. Uh, and I won him in an Easter egg hunt because my parents said, Patty's fat. She can't run. Yeah, you yeah. can. Whatever you get, you can keep. And I got one that said I had a, a rabbit. But the other thing you can't do is you're not supposed to let them out. Domestic rabbits and wild rabbits totally don't, different. don't get along in any way. Right. And also, I mean, put a white rabbit outside. What's going to happen? It's going to get killed. Absolutely. So, it's going to yeah. be you know, prey yeah. for some prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now I had a friend when I was a child who had a bunny that just hung out with his cats. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think even use the litter box. They can. They can yes. be trained. Yeah. Yes. And there's yes. there's even, you know, Facebook and YouTube videos of right. rabbits doing right. agility yeah. courses. They're actually pretty smart yeah. little critters. Yeah, yeah. But again, remember, they've got a long lifespan. They do. You they know, do. 10 years. So uh, House prepare. Rabbit Society also, uh, if you need help with your rabbit, you can't take care of it or something. And they also have some rabbits that you could adopt as pets, too. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So we're sending the right message. I, I, think so. I didn't mean to promote rabbits there when I was talking about my buddy's rabbit. But yeah. <laughs> So. Know what you're getting into. Exactly. The QR code for this segment is on your screen right now. Pass the phone over it, and we'll have a hot link there with all the information shared by Tom Doc from <laughs> Noah's Animal Hospitals. He loves talking about bunnies. That's all. Hey, Anessa. All right. Thank you, guys.